The conversation captured in the transcript revolves around the intricacies of the 2024 U.S. presidential race, with a particular focus on key battleground states, emerging voting trends, and campaign strategies that could influence the election outcome. Harold Ford Jr., Kelly and Conway, Carl Rove, Britt Hume, and Dana Perino engage in an insightful discussion about the dynamics at play in what is expected to be a highly competitive and unpredictable election. From voter demographics to the role of third-party candidates, here's a comprehensive summary and analysis of the key takeaways. The tone of the discussion from the outset is one of uncertainty, with the election being described as a coin toss. Despite extensive polling, including a massive Fox News poll with a sample size of over 100,000 people, the numbers suggest a highly divided electorate. This highlights the challenge of predicting the outcome in such a polarized political climate. The race is expected to be tight, with many battleground states too close to call. Harold Ford Jr. points out that two states, in particular Georgia and North Carolina, will provide crucial insights into how the election might unfold. These states are seen as bellwethers for broader national trends, with early voting numbers in these states offering clues to the political landscape. Specifically, Ford notes the importance of demographic factors, such as how black voters are likely to vote and the gender gap between male and female voters, which could play a decisive role. Furthermore, Michigan is flagged as an early indicator of how the election might proceed. As part of the blue wall of battleground states that traditionally vote Democratic but have shifted in recent years, Michigan will be a key focus. The results here, especially given the heavy economic and industrial importance of the state, will likely have a ripple effect across the Midwest and beyond. The discussion underscores the importance of understanding the shifting demographics and voter sentiment in 2024. The electorate is diverse and fragmented, and voter priorities differ widely across regions and groups. For example, in places like Erie and Bucks County, Pennsylvania, Kelly and Conway suggest that it will be critical for Kamala Harris, assuming she represents the Democratic ticket, to secure a strong showing among Jewish Americans, Hispanic voters, and other key minority groups who were loyal to Biden in 2020. If she fails to hold on to these coalitions, her path to victory becomes more tenuous. The broader issue, according to the Fox News voter analysis, is the public's dissatisfaction with the direction of the country. With 70% of voters saying they feel the country is heading in the wrong direction, the question of change is front and center. This sentiment could spell trouble for incumbent administrations, particularly if voters feel the need for a drastic shift in leadership. A significant point of contrast between the two main candidates is their campaign styles. The transcript highlights how Donald Trump's approach is aggressive, relentless, and confrontational. He's actively engaging with voters in a high-energy, all-encompassing campaign style. On the other hand, Kamala Harris's campaign, as described by Dana Perino, is more cautious and truncated. Harris is portrayed as less visible, potentially signaling a strategic attempt to avoid overexposure while maintaining a calm and calculated presence. Kellyanne Conway also makes the point that the 2024 election will be different in how candidates are communicating with voters. The rise of podcasts, social media, and alternative news outlets means that candidates are speaking to audiences who might not have traditionally been engaged by conventional media channels. This shift in communication could alter the way voters perceive the candidates, particularly among younger and more digitally savvy voters who consume information in different ways. Economics is identified as a central issue in the 2024 race. From inflation to rising gas and grocery prices, voters are increasingly dissatisfied with the economic situation. Kelly and Conway points out that 60% of voters are focused on the economy, and the majority are concerned about inflation. Given that the economy has long been a decisive factor in American elections, the candidate who can convincingly position themselves as the one to bring about economic change, whether through policies on job creation, inflation control, or reducing the cost of living, may have a significant advantage. In addition to economic concerns, issues like border security and crime are also at the forefront for many voters, especially in swing states. Karl Rove emphasizes that a battle over these issues will play out as voters weigh the relative competence of each candidate's policies on these critical topics. One of the more intriguing elements discussed is the potential impact of third-party candidates. Rove suggests that the 2024 election could mirror the 2016 and 2020 contests in terms of how third-party candidates may draw away enough votes to influence the outcome. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as presence on the ballot, particularly in states like Wisconsin, could be pivotal. While Kennedy's campaign has been unpredictable, his supporters could siphon off votes from either major party, especially in states that are expected to be razor-thin margins. This could replicate the scenario in 2016, when Jill Stein's third-party candidacy in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania was seen as a factor in Hillary Clinton's loss in those states. Similarly, third-party candidates in 2020, such as Joe Jorgensen from the Libertarian Party, had an impact in key battleground states like Georgia and North Carolina, possibly taking away votes from Donald Trump in areas that were crucial to his re-election bid. In 2024, this dynamic could play a similar role in shifting the balance of power, particularly in states with highly competitive races. Karl Rove underscores the centrality of Pennsylvania in the 2024 election. Often considered a bellwether state, Pennsylvania has a diverse electorate and is crucial for securing an electoral college victory. Rove points to the importance of counties like Erie, Northampton, and Bucks, which have historically been pivotal in determining the winner of the state. Any significant shift in voting patterns in these areas could indicate how the election is trending. 
The conversation also touches on the significance of the Electoral College in determining the overall winner of the election. With multiple battleground states in play, the ability of either side to sweep a number of them, such as Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Georgia, could determine whether the final outcome is a decisive victory or a contested result. This discussion emphasizes the electoral map's nuances, with states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin acting as tipping points. A narrow win in these states could provide either candidate with enough electoral votes to secure a victory, while a failure to win in these regions could signal a more challenging path to 270 electoral votes. Overall, the discussion paints a picture of a highly competitive and volatile 2024 election. Voter sentiment is deeply divided, with significant concern over the direction of the country, economic issues, and the candidates' abilities to unite key demographic groups. The importance of battleground states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina, and Michigan cannot be overstated, as they will likely determine the ultimate outcome. The role of third-party candidates and shifting campaign strategies will add another layer of unpredictability to what is expected to be a long and uncertain election night. Ultimately, the election will hinge on how well each candidate can address voters' concerns, appeal to critical swing constituencies, and navigate the complex dynamics of a deeply polarized electorate. While both major candidates bring distinct advantages and challenges to the table, it is clear that the 2024 race will be one of the closest and most contentious in recent history.